My next guest is called a secret weapon by her clients because of her expertise in helping them to start and grow businesses. Allie Brown joins us from Los Angeles to share some of those secrets with us. Hey, Allie. Hey, Tori. It's great to be on here, especially talking about building a business right now. Good. So why is now then the right time? Why is now a good time to start a business? Well, I think an even better question is, is now a good time to start a business for you, the person watching? You know, there is no perfect time to do anything. And what you want to do is think about what do you want out of your life? Have you been laid off your job? Maybe you're frustrated with your career. Maybe you've always had a business idea and you're starting to think, you know what, there may be something to this. Then now's the time to take action. And I say with all the low cost ways now to start up a business, working from home, using the internet, we just got some great tips from my girlfriend, Amber Mack there. Uh, I do think really it is a great time. All right. And for those who are ready to take the plunge, you have five tips for getting unstuck and really diving into started, especially because a lot of people get hung up on the excuses. I've got to, you know, work a little harder on my business plan or maybe I'm going to wait until this particular mm -hmm. time. And so for those who are ready to just do it, you say that they should start with what they know. Yes. Tip one is start with what you know. And that means, let's say maybe at your last job, you did a marketing campaign for your company and you loved it. And now you're thinking, well, I, that's something I know how to do. Maybe I want to become a marketing consultant. Maybe you worked in a cafe and you did some baking and you may be thinking, you know, I could maybe start like a gift cookie business from home. There may be something up to this. Or you love being at the gym all the time. You have a passion for working out and you also like helping people reach goals. You may want to think about becoming a personal trainer. The entrepreneurs I've seen be the most successful the fastest have uh, a connection there with something they love or something they've done before. Absolutely. Next you say do your research. Yes. This is the biggest mistake I do see people make is they go out and start a business without doing any research first. Now, I love you mentioned before, you, you don't need a you know 200 page business plan. That's a big mistake I see also is waiting for all your ducks to be in a row. Okay. My ducks have never been in a row. Some of them are <laughs> missing. Okay. So don't worry about this, but you do need to make sure you do some research. Look around online, offline, figure out who your competitors are. Look at how they are packaging their offerings, their pricing. Uh, look at their websites. There's really no excuse not to do a little research and that'll help you get more ideas for what you want to offer. Then you also need to get educated. Running a business is a lot different from having a job so you need to get education whether that's reading books, taking courses, hiring a coach or just getting out there and networking with other people who are in your industry. And what are some of the key things we want to get educated about? So if we're looking for look a book at, or looking for yeah. a coach, what are some of the things that we'd want those resources to help us with? One of the first things, I want to make sure that people start looking at their business like a business, okay? So you don't want to be looking at books or courses that are more about being a hobbyist. Look about look at for uh, courses about marketing, especially sales, running a business, being an entrepreneur. It's really about treating your business seriously. And it's so interesting that you say that about focusing on the marketing and the sales because we all know that even a great product or service is meaningless and there's not a business there if you don't have those sales. And so another one of your tips is a yeah. really critical one, work your numbers. <laughs> yes. It amazes me how many people start a business because they, they do have something they love and they create a business around that, but they forget that the purpose of a business is to make a profit. Hello. Otherwise, it's a hobby or a charity, okay? So if you're looking to start a business, you have to make sure that your numbers are going to line up. Do some research again. Look at what you're going to charge for your products or services. Compare that with what your costs are for materials or for labor and start playing around with it because if you can't make a profit, you want to know about that now so you can redesign your your business to actually make you money. Big mistake I see a lot of women doing this, Tori, especially because women love starting a business because we have purpose and passion and we want to help the world. But you need to make sure, ladies, that you're going to bring in the bucks. Absolutely. And to bring in those bucks, it's also about getting into action. Yes. Do not, do not wait any longer. Please just get out there, get off your bum, start talking to people, uh, meet other business owners, get your marketing out there. Online, just got some great tips from Amber there. You know, you wanna be on, have a website, blog, easing, get on all the social networks. Offline, get out there, get to networking meetings, meet people, do advertising, do marketing. But I'll give you a big tip. Your marketing and advertising will be a lot easier if you first determine who your client or customer is. When you know who the who is, 
the marketing is easier because now you know where to find them. So for example, let's say you want to be a life coach, okay? And let's say then you determine that you really want to work with women who are moms and have kids. Well, I would start locally. Get out and join your local PTA. Go to events where moms are and then you can have a, it's like having a focus group. Start having conversations with them. Learn about what they're looking for and that can help you design your marketing to be more targeted. That's definitely a tip that both you and Amber have in common. Listening, listening and getting that feedback. It's not just that one-way street of, of selling.